Well, it's action from the FA Cup, the Emirates FA Cup, as we must rightly call it now. And it's a very special competition, Alan. It's been very good to you. It has, and uh, there's always a buzz when players come into this competition, and there's a buzz around this ground too. And our match today is Oxford United versus Barnet. And this game is being officiated by our referee, Graham Horwood. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. Probably one of the two front men will... A definite foul, very early on. Well, that's going to be the first booking, isn't it, of the match, Alan? Well, early on in matches, quite often referees, they don't like to book players, but this ref had no hesitation. Cleared away by the defender. On to the attack now. Thomas. Cut it out. It's a poor tackle, but it hasn't done any harm, and they've still got the ball despite the challenge on them. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Hall. He's taking a chance, but he's keeping the ball under some pressure. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. There's some potential in this move. It's Watson. Kid. Just to keep a debate. It's a fast start here. They deserve that goal. They've been the better team early on. And that is exactly where he would have loved to have put it. Maybe it was a bit fortunate it flew up there from his point of view, but it was exactly the right spot. Now, one word, Martin. Unstoppable. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Could be dangerous. And a really good start to the game. It's always thrilling when both teams show that they can score in a match. I wonder where we'll go from here. Well, the equaliser has happened. Took perhaps the opposition by surprise. But we're level again. It's what they've deserved. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Lost his marker there cleverly. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Had to come back into his own half to get hold of possession here. On the attack here. Got to be. Now you could see what he was trying to do. Passed it into the net, but passed it off target. Well off target. There's the interception. To Thomas. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. That's a proper old-fashioned clearance there from the defender. Well, he's got support here. Found the force in that last attack. Somewhat a surprise to us all, really, that nothing happened at the end of it. Campbell Rice. 
Jamal Campbell Rice was good progress with this attack. Got the ball back by that interception. It's Watson, Ericsson. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. And that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. Threads it through. In with a chance. Opportunity here. And there's the goal to put them in front. Almost as if they drew them onto them so that there was space to break into and how well they used that space. And that score, he's just got too much pace for those defenders, you can see it. Here's Watson. Well, it's an important area to win back the ball, that. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Paul. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. And it's a shot now! Looking a problem until the clearance was made. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Kid. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Came in with a challenge. He's going to try his luck. Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Added time coming up, there'll be two minutes of it. Two minutes. Now this looks promising. On the move and able to cut out the pass. And now the shot! It was an opportunity, really, but in the end, way off target. Players have had their chance to assess what the first half brought for them. The start now of the second half of this game in the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, interesting to uh, know what the two managers would have said in those half-time dressing rooms, but I'm expecting a, a really good clash here. Shot up! Mike Williamson. I like the look of this attack. Gonna try one now. And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. Well, it flew in just under the crossbar. Yeah, I think he thought for a moment there it was going to actually hit the bar, but... No, he's got a goal, and it's a good one. 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game. Kid on the attack here. Hall. Oh, he's through. He's through here. He's in now. Going for goal! It's hit the post and got in. 
right to the side of the goal and nicking off the inside of the post on its way in. On another day, that might have rebounded back into play, but not this time. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. It's Watson, play back. Attacking now. Mike Williamson. I'm amazed, Alan, what we watched because couldn't split them when you talked about the teams at the start. Very similar players, very similar stats going into the game, but it's turned out to be one-sided. Well, it has. I mean, the scoreline would suggest that. In open play, I don't think there's been much to choose between the two, but it's the two sets of strikers that have been... The, the shot's on! Goalkeeper's done well. back with an interception to Thomas getting forward well as a team now that's great defending there stopping that attack getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away here's Watson Moving forward with some danger to guiding it through. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Slipping it through. It's a brilliant goal. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. Important moment, maybe the most important moment in the match. They shouldn't be caught from here, should they, Alan? I don't think so. There'd be questions asked if they are. And uh, to be honest with you, Martin, the opposition looks down and out down there. Oh, his team haven't been at it. And look at the manager's face. He can't believe what they're giving him out there. Well, this player is a good player. We know that, but he's not... Not in good form, but on he comes. Yeah, well, I'm sure the manager's had a little chat with... ...with him beforehand and just said, go out there and enjoy it. And whatever comes will come. It's Watson. United, number nine, Wes Thomas. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Our oh, chance. Couldn't quite keep it down. Just over the top. Yeah, just leaning back a touch. Got under it. Not bad effort, though. We do need an injection of uh, fresh enthusiasm from the bench. I don't know whether the managers told them to do this, but they're just defending deep. Inside. Guided through. Laid in the clear. Great chance. Close. Difficult angle. Maybe did well to get that close. I'm oh, surprised he actually went for goal there, but uh, in the end, got the keeper a bit worried. Here's Taylor. Cut out the pass. Well, I'll be honest with you, this last few minutes have dragged a little bit from where we're sitting because the game as a contest is long, long over. Uh, all credit to the team that's winning. Uh, I'm afraid not too much credit to the other side. And the backup 
to go. He's going to have a chance to centre stage. Thomas. It's Watson. Here's Taylor. And that will be a throw. Well, you're looking at a group of very confident fans. They believe their team are going to come away with the win here. And I don't think we're going to disagree with them, are we, Alan? Well, I don't think we are. And they're going through the repertoire, all their favourite songs. They can see the final whistle approaching quickly. Hey. Possibly. I'm booking this. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Corner kick coming up. In goes the corner. The, the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. To Thomas. Maybe the counter-attack is on here. Thomas. He's very confident with the ball at his feet. And that will end the threat, at least for the moment. And there we are, final whistle. In the end, the prevailing mood is almost despair, really. Yeah, you want to produce when it comes to the showpiece events like this. Kid. Just to keep a debate. Slipping it through.